Hi, my name is Simran Gupta. I go to Oak Bay High School. I like to read and play sports. I am in Miss Watson's English 9 class. I have learned about poetic devices, first nations, poetry, and culture. In this presentation, I will share a variety of poems and figures of speech. Mother Earth. She reminds me of my own mother. She has many scars that are not her fault. She has seen many battles and has endured each and every one of them. She has never stopped supporting me, though. She still continues to protect me and looks over me. She gave me the tools I need to survive. I return the favor by supporting her, protecting her, and giving her the tools she needs to survive. Most of all, I am grateful every day for the gifts my mother and Mother Earth has given me and continues to give me each and every day. In this poem, the message I'm trying to express is that Mother Earth is always by your side and will continue to be. This is a symbol poem. Poetic devices I used in this poem are repetition, imagery, and metaphors. Repetition enhances the poem because it creates a deeper understanding and emphasizes the point better. Imagery enhances the theme because it describes Mother Earth but in a way that would develop a picture in your mind. The specific details tell what the poem is about and describes an image. Metaphors enhance the poem because they give readers a picture in their mind of what is being discussed and help understand the concept of Mother Earth. They were brought away by the white men to be put on a train on that fateful day taken away from their parents that they had known for all their life. They were sent to a school so full of strife. The children's education was cruel. They learned very little from books. Boys were given shovels, while the girls had thread and a spool. They, there they were told that their culture was wrong, their traditions were evil, and their language was worthless. This is an emotion poem. The theme I am trying to express is that First Nations culture a long time ago was cruel and understood wrong. The poetic devices I used are metaphors, alliteration, and assonance. The alliteration enhances the theme because it describes what happened with the children daily and how they felt. The mood which is sad enhances the theme because it really describes the feelings in the past and the tough times kids would go through every day at residential schools. Sun throws light away, as committed every day. It's the moon who hides. This is a haiku poem. The theme I am trying to express is that the First Nations' importance to the sun and moon lies within honesty. The sun and moon are honest with each other, bringing out their qualities. A poetic device to use is personification. Personification enhances the theme because the moon hides as in goes away when the sun comes out or shines. In Courageous Acts, we learn that we have courage. Birds fly by flying. This is another haiku poem. The theme I'm trying to express is that everyone has courage and it is very important to have. A poetic device I used is symbolism. Symbolism enhances the theme because birds are used as a symbol to represent something more meaningful. The birds represent courage and create an image. First Nation Nature Poem. I give you this one thought to keep. I am with you still. I do not sleep. I am a thousand winds that blow. I am the diamond glints on snow. I am the sunlight on ripened grain. I am the gentle autumn rain. When you awaken in the morning rush, I am the swift, uplifting rush. Of quiet birds in circles flight, I am the soft stars that shine at night. Do not think of me as gone. I am with you still in each new dawn. This is a concrete poem. The theme in this poem is that God is always by your side and the First Nation culture hears your wishes when you pray. The poetic devices I used are imagery, rhyme scheme, and metaphors. Imagery enhances the poem because the pictures created in your mind help prove the theme and get you to furthermore explore in the words. Rhyme scheme enhances the poem because it explains who the person is in different actions. Also, rhyme scheme enhances the meaning of each word in a new perspective.
metaphors enhance the theme because they uncover intriguing qualities of the other thing and add depth to the poem, giving it vivid images and making it more interesting. Each element of nature and land was very important to the Aboriginal people. Warrior is the protector of his family, clan, and his tribe. A warrior is the guardian of the old ways so that they are not forgotten. A warrior is not motivated by greed, political ambition, or fame. A warrior will not put himself above others in need. And above all, a warrior is the living spirit of our grandfathers. This is my choice poem. The theme in this poem is that the First Nation grandfather is very important and meaningful to family and the next generations. The poetic devices I used are metaphors, repetition, and symbolism. Metaphors enhance the theme because the different qualities of a warrior are described as a grandfather in the First Nations culture. Repetition enhances the poem because it explains what a warrior is repeatedly in different perspectives and it expresses the emotions throughout the poem. Symbolism enhances the poem because the warrior is not being represented as something else until the last line, which creates a suspense throughout the poem. Thank you, Ms. Watson, Alex Nelson, and Strella Anderson for influencing me and helping me along the way of creating my poems.